Look at all that damn scene. Check all this stuff out. Haha, look what I found. Big Snoop. <laughs> So look, today is, uh, what's today, Monday? Monday, July 3rd? Yeah, tomorrow's the 4th, so you know we're gonna be off work. But look, I rented I rented this Jeep so I could go to the beach and do some off-roading. Look at it, it's jam-packed. And that's not, I have another cooler, but, it, but I had it right here, but now it's in the back seat since nobody's gonna be in the back seat. But I had to end up bringing two vehicles because all this stuff right here was supposed to go in the Jeep, but it wouldn't fit. You see, we didn't have any space. I originally was trying to get a pickup truck like that one right there. But uh, when I went to the rental place, this was all they had that was four wheel drive. So, you know, if y'all happen to see me on TikTok or Snapchat over the weekend, had a pretty good time. Now I'm about to go back home, but guess what? I want to pick up a load today. It's already preloaded, sitting in the parking lot at this shipper. I should have told my dispatcher no, but you know, I like to stay in. I like to stay in the good graces of PNS. See, I could I could have easily said no, but at the same time, it's only going to take me like an hour, an hour and a half to pick this load up, and I'll be right back home because it doesn't deliver until Wednesday. So, you know, it is what it is, man. So right now, about to take this Jeep, get it cleaned up, take it back to the airport, and go get my truck so I can go pick this load up. I took the Jeep to the car wash, got all the sand out, so they shouldn't be trying to charge no extra money. You should have seen all that sand that was in here. Oh, the back was the worst. I did pretty good. Still a little bit in here, but yeah, they'll take care of that. And now I'm about to go pick a load up. You hardly ever see this truck stop empty like this. Everybody's at home getting ready for the fourth. And look, I know my truck. Hey, it's been sitting there probably about a week. I know that motherfucker hot as hell. That motherfucker hot. <laughs> We're gonna crack it up, let it run for a minute before I get in. Yeah, while, while I'm doing my pre-trip. Electric charging. That's why I parked it right here so I can charge it up. Hey fellas, I don't know if y'all, uh, any of y'all might've seen it on Facebook or anything like that. Or, uh, it, it, I don't know, I don't know. Do, do, do a lot of y'all follow me on Facebook and on the Big Snow Trucker page? And then, you know, also I got TikTok, Big Snow Trucker, Instagram, Big Snow Trucker, but I don't post a lot on Instagram anymore. Or, or if any of you follow the PNS uh, Facebook page, PNS Transportation page. So look, um, I paid the truck off. It's probably been paid off about a month now, but they just posted it on Facebook last week, last Thursday. Cause they do like, they do this thing called Title Tuesday, then they got Title Thursday, so you know how they do. But anyway, yeah, man, truck's paid for now. So what am I gonna do next? As of right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ride it out right here at PNS, you know, for right now, until, uh. I don't know if, if, if the right opportunity comes across, but you know, and from the words of my wise friend Eric Mosley, he also works at Blair. You know, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, PNS got too much freight, man. They got too much freight for me to just try to try to strike out on my own or whatever. So you know, I'm happy. I'm happy here. You know, then I got my my um my business degree that I'm working on. So you know, now now that I don't. Like, like some sometime I might have to take days off to like go to the college. Like I might have to go one day this week. So like stuff like that, you know, I have to do it if I want to get this degree. So by having my truck paid off, you know, that takes away some of the financial strain. You know, well, I need to run this load. Cause I got to make this truck payment or whatever. You know how you see what I'm saying? So now I could just, if I have to, I'm not gonna say I will, but if I have to, I could just, I could slow it down just a little bit. 
so that's the best thing about it right there you know trucks paid off let me put this address in because I'm, I'm right here beside uh, 95 and I see and I, it's moving now but when I first got up here it was kind of it was kind of slow so let me put my GPS on just to calculate the uh, traffic Yeah, it look like we got 26 minutes. I'll be there at 107. Y'all can't hear that GPS talking. But, but I just got this headset last week. This is a Garmin headset. It's a Garmin, whatever it is. No, it's not a Yeah, it is a Garmin. I had a Ram it now, the Clear Drive 220. If y'all remember, I had the yellow one, the yellow camo one. I had it three years. But it finally messed up last week. Like, it just, it just, uh, it wouldn't charge anymore. So I had to get a new one. So I've been noticing this one at the truck stops. The Garmin, whatever it is, they got a 100 and a 200. This is a 200. It has two, two uh, ear pieces. I got the other one there somewhere. That's why I keep pausing because it keeps talking in my ear. So now with the Garmin headset and the Garmin GPS, it's like they both connect to each other. So normally you would hear the GPS talking out loud. Now you hear it in, in your ear. I uh, mean, I don't know how to. Do I like it? It's. It's taking some use. It's taking some getting used to, cause even while I'm talking on the phone, if the GPS talks, it'll talk in my ear too. But it'll like, it'll like lower the volume, and then you will hear it. So you know it is what it is. I like it so far, so good. But, all right, let me hit the road, man. I got to get on down here to Felver, because guess what? The faster I pick this load up, the faster I can get my ass back to the house and finish my vacation. There's a load right here, people. I already got straps on it. I have to put some edge protectors on it. Yeah, already ready. Just got to put some edge protectors. Yeah, somebody tighten it up, too. So, what y'all think, fellas? I do the right thing? Cut my vacation short for a few hours, pick a load up? Now... Now I don't have to um, worry about trying to get a reload Wednesday. Cause I already got one. So yeah, this is dropping off Wednesday morning. Had to cut my vacation short and come pick up a load and also show y'all how to use this My T Products Edge Protection Pole. State of the art, high quality engineering. Never seen anything else like it. Now look, I can't reach the top of that load. I don't know what I'm going to do. Good thing I just so happen to have my My T Products Edge Protection Pole. Fully extendable. Excellent technology. Now these right here or my t products edge protectors you can find both of these on the my t products website or you can click on the link in my bio look how well it works look at the durability look at the edge protector not falling out you can't do that with your pvc pipe that you got made from Lowe's or home depot look also use it to insert belly straps doesn't get any better than that high quality stay hydrated other side same thing durability ease best product on the market highly recommend my t products edge protector pole click the link in my bio or you can go to the my t products website let's roll out edge protection under the straps we don't got to worry about nothing where was this at when i first started flatbed highly recommend look at this extension Look at that. What's that? 20 feet. 
Boom. All good, people. All good. We don't need edge protectors up there at the top. That shit smooth. But we got them back here. Edge protectors. I just got done filming a video, well, TikTok, for uh, my T products while I was out here too. For an edge protector pole. Took me a little longer than expected. But yeah, we, head, we headed to the house now, man. We on the way back to the house. Time to get on the grill. Guess what? I got my parking spot back. Hey, look, so at the end of this video, I'm going to put some drone footage that I had from over the weekend. It's going to be in TikTok format. So just, I don't know, look at it like a TikTok. And if you haven't done it already, I want y'all to go follow me on TikTok at Big Snow Trucker. And to make sure y'all made it this far in the video, I want y'all to drop the snowmans in the comments. That way, I know that you watched the video, man. Hey, keep on trucking, fellas. Y'all be safe. No drinking and driving. Enjoy your holidays. Happy Independence Day. I think that's what you're supposed to say. How the wings look, fellas? Pit Boss. I remember when some, one time somebody told me I was using cheap barbecue sauce. <laughs> this is where I use Sweet Baby Ray's. I always use it. I don't know how much it costs, maybe three or four dollars. It's what I like. Hey, right, put this shit up here. Then I'm gonna hit it with that brush so I can get back to hydrating. While we wait, we hydrate. Come on, cheap barbecue sauce, get out. It's been in the refrigerator, so it's moving kind of cold. Cheap barbecue sauce. Get this shit at IGA. If y'all don't know what IGA is, where I live at, used to be Piggly Wiggly. Now it's IGA. I may not be the best cook in the world, but I do know. As long as you don't burn the food, <laughs> ain't nobody going to complain. As long as you don't burn it. Yeah, y'all didn't think I was gonna get the other side, did you? Ha <laughs> ha. With my cheap barbecue sauce. <laughs> Sweet baby rays. Yeah, buddy. They about to be finger licking good. Finger licking good. Y'all thought I was lying about the hydration. Move these to the top. And they start to sizzle. Hydrates. <laughs>